You were traveling down SPID this afternoon, and maybe if you have plans to go there, you know, here shortly, Still, you yeah. may be noticing some heavy smoke in the air. Let's go ahead and show you some video of that smoke from earlier today. This is from a U-Haul storage facility off of Castores and S SPID. Yeah, firefighters, as we say, have been battling this stubborn blaze all afternoon. Started uh, shortly after two o'clock. Based on our observation, the damage to that storage facility has been extensive. It is our top story tonight, and we do want to take you live to the scene where uh, it is dark, of course, but you, you might be able to see kind of what's going on. We understand the fire has since flared up again uh, because they're not exactly sure what has started this blaze. We are told that the firefighters are actually going unit to unit mm -hmm. with, a uh, with a chainsaw trying to get in to see if something in one of those storage units is what sparked that blaze. Right, the blaze broke out around 2 this afternoon and the crews had to put it out originally. We brought to you, we brought you a live report at 5 o'clock, uh, but as you can imagine, the winds out there not doing any, the, yeah. Yeah, the, not doing firefighters any favors as it continues to f uh, fan the flames. Now, because this fire is still active, still going on, there are traffic uh, um, there are some closures in the area that we want to make you aware of. The exit ramps to Castores off of Highway 358, both eastbound and westbound, are closed off. So as you, if you know you need to drive in that area, first off, avoid it if you can. Right. But if you know you need to drive in the area, just be mindful of everyone who's out there. It looks like folks or firefighters are going to have to remain on scene for this for a good chunk of the night tonight. Uh, that's right. So go past the Castores exit because that will be closed. The mm -hmm. frontage road along there. Uh, obviously will be closed for everyone's protection. Uh, the good news is we haven't heard of anyone being injured. Mm -hmm. We have heard that firefighters have been uh, allowed to go off and take breaks because, as you can imagine, working in that much smoke is not good for them. But so far, no reports of injuries. We will keep you updated throughout the night on the air and, of course, online.